Lame Gaming, welcome back. Today I want to go over quality. I want to talk about quality and how to get a quick start at getting quality manufacturing going. And this right here, I'm using the Firefly. Um, it's upgraded to Tier 2. It's small. Most people see it. They'll think, hey, this is a new guy. I'm not going to mess with him. It's, you know, he don't have nothing. Got a small crate in between the wings where I can dump low quality resources. I got my fire. I got my uh, range finder. And I use this to scout out quality material. I'll put the quality material in the hole and take a quick look. Found some 47 plus wood. All right, got some level 50 wood out of that. I'm gonna use, I'm trying to find the highest quality wood I can find so I can build a spider with it. Here we found some quality 47 plus bone. That might come in handy if I use the right tool. 87. Okay, if you look at the quality numbers, the first number is the current level or the current quality of the item. The second number is its max level that it can achieve. So say it was one slash five. Currently it's quality one and it can get up to five. If you leave it alone and let it mature, it'll get up to quality five and you can come back and harvest it later. Right now I'm looking for the stumps to see if you can really get quality wood out of them with a beat stick. Okay, to get started with quality items, you need at least a quality one woodworking station. Well, if you can't find quality Rupu vine, what can you do? Well, craft you a quality one beat stick and then head to a canyon and look for this right here. You want to find some quality driftwood. You'll be able to harvest quality wood from it using a beat stick. Okay, once you have your quality driftwood, that's hopefully a number a little higher up that you uh, harvested with your quality one beet stick, then you can take some regular quality one fiber and your regular rupu vine, and you'll be able to make a quality wood crafting station. To build the woodworking station, you're gonna need 20 wood, 28 fiber, and two rupu vine. If you weren't able to find quality rupu vine, I suggest looking out in the desert. I found mine in a single hut out in the middle of the desert. And you cannot use the range finder on it. And it will not say that it's quality. You just have to collect it. And you won't know until you collect it if it's quality or not. Now I have some quality rupu vine here. But I'm going to put it away because I want to try with just the lower quality wood we found from the driftwood. So I collect, I found a couple driftwood and I got some level 9 and some level 6. And we'll see if we can build it with that. Okay, so there we go. It's giving us the option to build a level 3. Now once you got a level 3, you can make quality wood shafts, which is what you need to make the next tool. Okay, once you got your quality woodworking station, you can throw some quality wood in there. Some quality fiber, and you can make a quality wood shaft. <clears throat> Hmm. 
once you got your quality wood shaft you can use that with some quality one stone or whatever you got a quality woodcutter hatchet with the quality woodcutter hatchet even if it's a level one you'll be able to harvest up to level 20 quality and from there you just take your higher level stuff that you get with the woodcutter's hatchet and you build a higher quality woodworking station and then from there you can build other high quality tools like the sickle or the scythe and it's just this main step here getting a quality woodworking station that's a real pain in the ass so if you can't find the quality rupu vine give it a try looking at the single huts out in the desert just right around you know uh, while you're pulling crates, just stop the single huts and harvest the vine. Hopefully you'll get a quality one. If not, go to one of the valleys, look for the quality driftwood. And once you get a quality one or better woodworking station, then you can start building quality items. Like the quality one hatchet even can get you up to quality 20 resources. And from there, the ball rolls, and I'm not going to get all into depth. It's, it's a pretty fairly easy to grasp system once you just get the ball rolling on it so yeah hopefully this will help you get started if uh this video helped you out at all don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching